after taking a flight this morning from Mazar to Kabul, I'm finally back in the city center. And today I'm doing something so exciting. Today I'm exploring the entire city and I'm tasting all of the traditional Afghan food you can find here. Afghan food is, for me, one of the best in the world and also one of the world's most unknown. Afghanistan is a landlocked country between Iran, Pakistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and some influences come from Iran and also Pakistan with their food but a lot of the food here is untouched by influences from around the world. What does that mean? That means the food here you can find is truly authentic to this region of the world with incredible spices, ingredients, and flavors. And today, I'm gonna to show you exactly what those encompass with the food. So I'm at the first restaurant here, here in the city center, and hopefully I can find, inshallah, some really good traditional food. So, shalom, let's go. I've eaten a lot of kebabs over my time here in Afghanistan, but one thing I haven't tried is chopan kebab. This is a famous Pashtun dish, which is lamb cooked over a traditional Afghan charcoal, which is called mangal. So this dish is actually named after sheep herders. So chopan is actually a Pashtun word for shepherds. So they used to eat this lamb covered in a lot of salt, and then they popped it onto sticks, which then they cooked over an open fire as they watched their flocks. So it's right here, it's lamb with all of the bones still inside, so hopefully it'll have a lot, a lot of flavor. I can't wait to eat this, Bismillah. Okay, let's try the chopon kebab. Mm. That meat is so tender and so flavorful, wow. Mm. It's delicious. The way they cook it over the charcoal gives it a really nice smoky flavor, really rich flavor, and super salty, which I love. It's great. So of course, I also had to get one of my favorite dishes, which is ashak. This is a famous Afghan dumpling, which is usually filled with either spring onions or gandana, which is a, a very famous leek, which is grown all around different provinces here in Afghanistan. And on top, it's usually topped with either a lentil ragu or a meat ragu and also chaka, which is a beautiful thick yogurt, which is also got mint inside and a lot of different other flavors. And it's one of my favorites, so let's try it. Okay, and here we have the beautiful ashak. Mm. The dumpling is so fluffy, I guess is the right word. It's super juicy. The flavor inside is amazing. But with the lentils on the outside and the yogurt, the fresh mint, it all works so perfectly together. And it's one of my favorite dishes here in Afghanistan. Okay, I've just come to Shah Noor Park, which is just in front of me. In the restaurant behind me, we've come here before to try the famous ice cream here in Afghanistan. They start by pounding the ice just in front of me, which is then put into these amazing canisters and they make it fresh. They put the craters inside and all by hand, they make the ice cream, which is then topped with pistachios, nuts and a beautiful fresh cream. So let's head inside and try it. I can't wait. Hello. Tashakur. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, and right here you have shir yak, which is a traditional Afghan ice cream loved by everyone here in Afghanistan. It has the, pretty much the same ingredients as Indian cold food, but prepared in a, a slightly different way. This contains milk, cream, pistachios, I think rose water too, and it's covered in a beautiful cream at the bottom. Really, really sweet. I can't wait to try this. Let's, Let's try it. So the traditional way of eating it is you scoop out the cream and scoop out the ice cream. It is amazing. That cream is so rich and fresh. Wow. It's literally like eating full fat cream. It's beautiful and the ice cream is super sweet. 
Mm. And you have huge chunks of cream in the bottom, I don't know if you can see. The curd is beautiful. Wow, the portions are so big. I'm gonna have to struggle getting through this, but it's well worth it. It is one of the best ice creams in the world. It's really incredible. Next up, I'm going to try Bolani, which is a very famous street food here in Afghanistan. It's a very thin flatbread stuffed with either leeks or potatoes, and sometimes both, depends on what the person wants. You can see it being fried behind me. It literally takes two seconds or five seconds on each side to get fried, which is then drained, ready to eat. You have a selection of sauces and salsas behind us. I'm going to taste it now, I can't wait. So, this is the Bolani. It's a huge flatbread, super famous here in Afghanistan. This is the salsa or the chutney that comes with it. I think it's tomatoes, lemons, chives. And this is what it looks like in the middle, filled with a beautiful potato and leek filling. Mm. Wow, super spicy. It's amazing. This black bread is really good. Still kind of hot on the fryer. Potatoes are really good. And this costs 20 Afghani. And it's really good. I recommend you eat this. One thing you'll see on the streets here in Kabul is restaurants lining the streets with so much smoke coming out. And that means only one thing, they're cooking incredible kebabs on the traditional charcoal here in Afghanistan. The streets are so, so beautiful, full of the incredible kebabs which I've eaten all over the country. Let's check it out. Asalaamu Alaikum. This is traditional charcoal. Beautiful. Ah, this is karahi. Whoa, look at this. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite foods. Nice to meet you. This right here is exactly what I mean by the beautiful kebab. You see the smoky. Nice to meet you. These look incredible. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. <laughs> this is one of the restaurants here, the meat straight fresh cooked on the kebab and then this right here looks beautiful. Salaam alaikum. <laughs> wow, look at this. Of course, I couldn't film a food video here in Afghanistan without filming and eating what, in my opinion, is the crown of Afghan food. This is Kabuli Pilau. It's spread across the country and now 
the name has changed to Kabili Pilau, which actually means Kabil means capable or able, as it was said that only the truly skilled chef could make incredible Kabili Pilau. So this is Afghan's national dish, which consists of long grain rice, white rice, with beautiful caramelized carrots on top with raisins, almonds, and it's usually served with lamb, but sometimes it's served with chicken or beef. This one is served with lamb and it's amazing. The meat inside here is so tender. It just breaks apart like this. It's beautiful. Yes, let's try it. Beautiful. That meat is so tender and so juicy. It's amazing with the sweetness of the raisins and the beautiful caramelized carrots. It's one of my favorite dishes here in Afghanistan. And if you're coming here, this is a top dish that you have to try. Afghan food for me is some of the best in the world, if not my favorite. It has so many incredible flavors. The culture here in Afghanistan is so beautiful and hope in the future more people come here and get to experience the incredible beauty here and the incredible flavors of the food here in beautiful Afghanistan. It's my final day here. I actually head to the airport in about 30 minutes. Thank you to every single Afghan I've met over my time here. It's been truly an adventure of a lifetime and I'm so proud of every single person I met here. Really, it's just been a beautiful journey. It started off a little bit rocky coming here at a pretty turbulent time and it ended in the most beautiful way. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next country. I'm very, very sad to leave, but it's time to move on. Afghanistan, I will be back. There's so many provinces I need to explore like Herat, Kandahar in the south and so many others. So inshallah, I will see you back soon here in beautiful Afghanistan.